In Aotearoa New Zealand we have a, a, a unique indigenous culture, unique ways of, ways of living and being. In order to address wellbeing issues with your students in our, in our schools, you actually have, have to have some sense of understanding of what those values, those beliefs, those ways of being are for those kids, which are different for Tamariki Māori too, uh, non non Māori. The research tells us that uh, connectedness to whānau, to society uh, and to culture are really key when it comes to um, health and wellbeing for Māori. It's been an amazing experience just to be part of that group and to meet with people like uh, Janina uh, looking at Mātauraka Mahanui, so uh, things like whānau engagement and te reo Māori and what we can do as a community to build those areas. We're all about getting the understanding and skills of wellbeing that come from wellbeing science out to absolutely everybody. Instead of just targeting those people who are sick, all of our work is increasing capacity and knowledge and literacy around wellbeing for absolutely everybody. So it's universal wellbeing promotion. The hope for us would be that this becomes second nature, that it's not just a key phrase or, um, or just a hype word in terms of wellbeing, but actually the, our community and our whānau will know this is what we do. When we learn the most is from the failures. Um, so when something hasn't worked in their school, other schools are able to take that on board and say, OK, well, let's adapt that for our community um, and look at how we can make that work within our school. And my hopes for um, this is that as a school we are able to embed wellbeing. It's not tokenism, it is just what we do and why we do it is essential and it's part of everyday life. As a mother, um, I would like to have it that when my children go through school and through education that this is just what we do. Working on this project has really given us hope. Hope that we can, if we work together and we collaborate and we pull all of our knowledge, that we really can work with schools, you know, not to them, but together, I think, to get transformational change in this space, we need to get people sharing what works and what doesn't work. You know, every school is different, but when they come together and they have built up that level of trust and willingness to share, that is pretty awe-inspiring. So my hope is that other regions can take that model, that they will use this as a kind of a framework to show them that actually over time, change is possible.